Hey you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I am so excited because I need you guys with me for my project today. So I haven't vlogged in a few days and one of the things I did when I was in vlogging is me and Yar took a whole afternoon <laughs> to set up these shelves in our basement because we want to organize the basement. Since we moved in months and months ago, we were like, okay, basement. At our old house, our basement was like a hot mess. And we're like, I want our basement to be so like clean and organized. So we got these shelves. It took us almost five hours to assemble both of them, but we got it done. So now that the shelves are up, we organized it the most we could, but now I need to go down there and like go through things like, <laughs> cause like most, you'll see, you'll see it. A lot of stuff is on shelves, but there's also a lot still on the floor. Like I got pillows in trash bags. I've got just like a lot to organize and stuff I can donate. So we're gonna do that project. I also have some packages to open. Oh my gosh, guys, look at, I got this on Etsy. So if you know, if you've been watching me, um, the last few years I've been putting out like a little snack station for delivery drivers during the holiday season. And I always just like finagle <laughs> like a sign on a piece of paper and I, try to tape it to the thing and it's, it always blows off. It's just, <laughs> I figure since I do this every year and I plan to do it every year, like forever, um, I got this little sign off of Etsy. I'll link it below. Um, how cute is this? It's this little wood sign. Thank you to our delivery drivers for making our holiday shopping easier. Please take some goodies for the road. And it's like 3D little glued on. It's really, really sweet. So um, I figured I would have this sign for ever and I can pull it out every year. It's like, oh, I don't know, it just makes me so happy. We'll do that together because every year we do that together. I don't know, there's something so fun um, and it just feels good to give back. I highly recommend doing that if you can. Um, I know I'm, it's privileged that I can do that, um, but it's just my little way of giving back to the delivery drivers. So I'm gonna open these packages. I'm so excited. Actually, let's just look at this really quick. I got our wallpaper in because you guys know we wallpapered the dining room and we're obsessed with it. So we're gonna wallpaper the downstairs bathroom. Oh, this is so nice. Um, and we wanted to just do something simple because you know it has shiplap at the bottom. I think it's called shiplap. It just got like the ridges. The bottom floor has like a pattern to it. So we didn't wanna do anything too aggressive. Um, so we got this really pretty it's like a deep like bluish green teal it's textured it feels so nice i think this is gonna look really pretty in the bathroom so fingers crossed <laughs> i gotta text our wallpaper lady tell her that it came in okay so i just have like a few pr packages i want to open because it's i think it's skincare and the winter skin is it's skinning oh pixie sent more glow tonic they spelled my name in an interesting way. They've never done that. Their glow tonic is like the best toner though. It's like famous for a reason. It's very good. I got some PR from Drunk Elephant, which I'm so excited about. I love Drunk Elephant. Ugh. If you want to invest in some good skincare, worth it. Like their stuff is so good. Um, I've never tried their makeup melting butter cleanser, but I love me like a nice creamy makeup remover. So we'll try this. I can't wait. I grabbed these rosy drops. So it's basically like skincare blush. Um, fortify and blush omega fatty acids. It's like good for your skin, but it's like skincare blush. I grabbed the TLC Sukari baby facial. This is very, very popular. It's got AHA and BHA chickpea flower this stuff is very very popular oh i didn't know too they came out with shampoo and conditioner and like hair care products so i wanted to try these as well so i got a shampoo and conditioner i have bought this more times than i can count this is one of my favorite lip balms it's so good it's their lippy balm i'm so excited i actually just just finished my one in the car because i have one in the car oh my gosh and i i needed a new one and I grabbed the Shaba Complex Eye Serum. And then lastly, this A Glowy Maretinol Oil, clear and smooth. It has retinol. So thank you so much, Drunk Elephant. I can't wait to use this. And then I also have a package from Verst. Verst is a really great affordable skincare line. I get it at Target. I've been using their products for a while now. I've repurchased their makeup remover balm multiple times. Um, the vitamin C serum. 
It's the glowiest time of the year. Oh, cute. Ooh, you guys. Skin Reset Holiday Kit, limited edition. <gasps> Clarifying serum, and then it has a little shaver, a dermaplaning face shaver. <gasps> Yes, your softest, clearest, most glowing skin yet. This is a really cool gift idea because after you shave your face, your serums absorb really well. So, you know, people get so freaked out by like shaving your face, but literally you can go to a salon or like a skincare place or spa, whatever, and get dermaplaning done. And it's just the same thing. I've had it done professionally. I've done it at home. And I do feel like, yes, when you get it done professionally, they get as close to the skin as possible, but it's not gonna make your hair grow back any slower or any coarser or thicker. I've been doing it for years. So doing it at home is a great way um, to shave your face at home and your skin just glows. Your skin products absorb so much better. Oh, and then also in here, they gave an afterglow basking candle, white sage and dark musk. Oh, wow. Oh, that is divine. The perfect set to give or get. This is a great holiday gift idea like so good okay so i just wanted to open my packages with you guys um i also when we were doing the basement i found two more bins two more christmas bins remember how i was saying like oh i can't find this and that and this and that well the bins are here they were just buried don't know how we missed it truly we gotta open those and yeah we're gonna work on the basement i've procrastinated long enough i was like editing all morning i'm like oh the basement, the basement, but the hardest part was the shelves. So let's get into organizing mode. Also, I went to Walmart the other day, um, just to, like get some stuff we needed. And I found this, I put it on the door that goes out to the garage. How cute is this? I wanna say it was like 15 bucks. So if you want this from Walmart, it should be there. It's so, oh, like it's just, it's giving Magnolia from Target and just at such a great price. With my Bruna. Also our table. <laughs> For here, the top came in, but not the base. So we're waiting for the base because I miss having a table here. It is so empty. I also grabbed some ornaments from Walmart. Like it can't be $5.98 just to include on the tree when we put it up. Like, oh, they're so pretty. I got some like retro little ornaments here. Like they're so pretty because I'm gonna do red and gold on our main Christmas tree. And this is gonna be my Christmas cup this year. It's glass. I feel like my coffee would be really good in here because I like drinking my iced coffee out of glass. So this was really cheap from Walmart as well. And I put on um, new press on nails because the Glamnetic ones, they were super firm. Like I loved the quality, but I put them on right before I decorated and like it kind of kind of chipped a little bit like the paint part and it was, driving me crazy like the paint was wearing off so they're very durable and good quality but like the paint will wear off if you use your hands a lot so um, I just threw on these ones these random little press-ons but they're cute they're fun they're fun until our holiday ones come from Etsy do you want to show them your big new bone <laughs> I got him this massive bone at Walmart it was like a Christmas bone I'm like, this will take him forever. He just is like slowly chewing away at it. I got him this at Walmart too. Wanna squeak? Want the squeakers? Oh, you want the squeakers. You want the squeakers. Okay, so here are the shelves. <laughs> uh, that's a little Bruno mess, but the shelves look so good. They really do. Um, those are not covered just because that's like my normal decor for after Christmas. So <sighs> I just kind of shoved it all in there. <laughs> so I, I, yeah, like it won't stay like that for more than like, I don't know, two months because I know people would probably worry if some, something goes in it, like a mouse or I don't know, but I think it'll be fine for a couple months. So yeah, it looks great. I hope we don't need another shelf because we still got all this to organize. <laughs> Oh God, we brought in like our porch decor. We moved the elliptical down here from the garage um, because just to save space. So if I wanna use it, I just come down here. But um, you know, I've been going back to the gym instead. So I don't know, it's just nice to have. But yeah, we still have a lot of random stuff here that needs to be like 
gone through and organized and somehow put onto these shelves. <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. What are you doing? Oh, you got something? What do you have? What is this? I don't even know. Let's get rid of it. many hours later I whipped us up some spaghetti and meatballs for dinner with enough for some leftovers so I made turkey meatballs with egg panko Thai and seasoning salt and pepper and garlic and then this is that protein pasta from Barilla which I love I love the protein pasta and the chickpea pasta um, and then I actually made a homemade sauce so I've learned homemade sauce is really easy to make and it's really good. Um, so I either do that or I use Rayos, but tonight <clears throat> I had some canned crushed tomatoes. So I used those. Um, you can, fo I follow a random recipe every time, but you can do um, essentially like olive oil in your pan first with like a bunch of garlic and like warm that up, get it sizzling. Then you throw in like canned tomatoes and water, bring it to a boil with like oregano, salt like it's there's so many recipes out there but i'm telling you it just tastes phenomenal good morning you guys welcome well no this is already a vlog no welcome back you're already here i'm so excited because i'm heading into the hair salon we're gonna do one more round of highlights especially before the holidays do a nice little freshen up so if you guys have followed the hair journey i'm sure you know what's going on so um me a blonde dyed my hair red and regretted it shortly after and my hair salon is amazing they got me like this much back to blonde in one round of highlights they're incredible so yeah it's been like i want to say a month or two maybe two months since i got my hair done so i'm just doing a freshen up before the holidays and we're gonna brighten up a little bit more um to try to get me like fully back to where I used to be. This is like stunning. Um, but we're just gonna do one more round because I'm still a little bit warm and a little darker than what I used to be. So just one more round and uh, should be feeling feeling good. So I'm so excited. It's it's nice and cold. It feels like winter. I'm just so excited for the holidays. I, I've been like jamming at Christmas music so much. Hopefully I don't get sick of it, but I doubt it. I have on this Shein coat from my last Shein haul and I have on my like Sherpa Teddy Golden Goose sneakers and it just matches so perfectly. I'm like so proud of this outfit. Um, and I just have on like leggings and this old navy t-shirt because I want to be comfy. I have some snacks. I have a chocolate peanut butter, a special K protein bar, and then some hot and spicy nuts. So if I get hungry, hold them in there. But yeah, let's uh, mm, let's go. Got my foils in. Lots of foils. Oh my god, looks so good. So actually, I have to run to another appointment. So it's wet in the back, but she blow dried the front. To show me. Oh, so so pretty. Even brighter. A little bit cooler. Oh, feels so good. Okay, I thought I would tell you guys a story while I walk the dog. So, pardon this horrible angle, but I don't know, felt like the right time to share. So, this morning, I fainted at the doctor's office. I've had a weird, weird day. So, I needed to get my blood drawn this morning for my physical next week, right? I have had my blood drawn so much over the last few years because of Accutane, because of gastric bypass. I've had so much blood drawing. Haven't had a problem in years. And today though, it needed to be fasted. So I haven't eaten obviously, or I hadn't eaten since the night before. I don't know, maybe that was part of it. <laughs> maybe it wasn't, maybe it was just my luck. So I have like a lot of anxiety when it comes to getting my blood drawn. Ugh. or at least I used to, uh, thought I didn't anymore. Just cause like, you know, the more you do it, the better it gets, the easier it gets. And I get in there, you know, and I'm like manifesting the whole time. I'm like, this is gonna go so smooth. You're gonna do great. Wow, and you're gonna, like I'm picturing myself being like, oh, that was so easy. 
oh, you know, I'm really trying, really trying to make this easy. I drank a lot of water too, because I'm like, I'm gonna make sure my veins are juicy. <laughs> oh, he says all I can have is water, whatever. I get in there, he gets the needle in, and all of a sudden the room starts going white, in and out white. You know that like right before you fade, where it's like really cold, but you're sweating in and out, and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, and I start panicking, and I'm like, I'm gonna faint, I'm gonna faint, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna faint. The next thing I know, I wake up on, half on the floor, half being held up by a nurse, god bless her, they were all so nice. When I wake up, I'm like, still going in and out, because I just fainted, and like, I was like, literally dreaming while I was fainted, and I woke up not knowing where I was, because I thought I was just like, asleep at my house or something, like, taking a nap. And I was like, oh my God, like, I wake up and I'm like, I need to get on the floor. I need to lay down. I need to lay down. Cause she gets like half holding me up. There's like 10, I'm not kidding. 10 doctors in the room around me. Like they're taking my vitals, they're checking my blood pressure. It was like so traumatic <laughs> and intense. Oh my God. Wow, it was just, it was so much. And like, I'm like, I need to lay down, I need to lay down. Like the room is still kind of going in and out. And like, I lay there for a bit and like, yeah. Then this other lady is like pricking my finger to check my blood sugar. Everything is normal. And I don't know, I, I, I don't know. Like maybe it was the anxiety of it. Maybe it was cause I didn't eat. Maybe it was cause I hate getting my blood drawn. I don't know, but I have not fainted like that in years. It was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. And then they kept me there for a while because they wanted to make sure I was okay. They like laid me on a cot and like gave me apple juice. If you have fainted, it is like seriously traumatizing because you can't control it at all. Like you feel yourself going in and out and like then you start to panic and you just can't fight it. Like you're just going down. I woke up just covered in sweat and I immediately when I woke up, I just start sobbing and I'm like, profusely apologizing and they're all so nice they're like don't apologize don't apologize but like oh, it's just so embarrassing and like I normally in the past have asked to like lay on a bed while they draw my blood to be safe but like I've been fine for a while but like from now on I'm never gonna risk it again <laughs> like <laughs> lay me down you know oh yeah, it was a lot it's been a day and like ever since like I'm just so tired I had like a work call today, but like I just powered through it because I didn't want to cancel last minute, but I've just had like a headache all day. I'm just so tired. I feel fine, but I'm just like tired with the headache. Um, but yeah, so I've been drinking a lot of water and just kind of resting. It feels good to take the dog for a little walk right now and get some fresh air, but oh, crazy morning. I always film when it <laughs> the sun. Ugh. Does that, does that help at all? Good morning. We're having a much better morning today than yesterday. Yesterday at this time, I was on the ground at the ER, not the ER, that's a lie, at the lab. But I'm so excited. I'm finally going back to the gym. I was in such a good gym groove and then I got sick and I haven't been in like weeks. So I'm really excited to go back and just like blow off some steam, just have a good time, watch some YouTube on that elliptical, do some arms. Yeah, I'm excited. Like I'm really, really glad to get back. Um, and I've been in the world's longest line of traffic for like 15 minutes. It's really funny. Like I'm going a little later today. I'm telling you, if I go, later than 7 30 the traffic also this little teddy coat is from amazon i'm gonna link it it's so cute and like so affordable and i wear it all the time it's so cold though like walking the dog when i first get up now it's like i gotta go winter coat winter gloves like it is a chile it is winter um i want snow <laughs> i want a white christmas so uh, yeah, clearly my pre-workout is kicking in and I'm feeling alive, but I'm really excited to go get my sweat on. All right, that was a good workout. Um, I did 30 minutes on like the bouncy elliptical. And then I did about 20 minutes of lifting um, on the arm machines. My arms are really sore. Like it's so unfortunate that like you can 
work really hard in the gym and like get your muscle going and then like you lose it so fast like if you don't keep up with it it takes so long to like get the muscle but so quick to lose it so that's super annoying um but anyway uh, i had just posted this morning um i know this i'm a few vlogs pre-filmed right now um uh, i don't know i've just been vlogging a lot but um, I posted this morning my gastric bypass one year update. My anniversary was yesterday, my surge anniversary, as they say. Uh, and I posted that update today. And you guys are just so sweet and so supportive because I decided to reveal my weight um, just to, in hopes to make other people feel more comfortable about their weight and just be really open and transparent. So um, the response has been so freaking kind. I was reading comments on the elliptical and so sweet. I love you guys so much, like more, more than words can say. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go now and pick up a Whole Foods grocery order. Um, I'm having a friend's giving soon, and I realized after I placed the order <laughs> that I forgot to get the stuff for friend's giving food, so that's cool. But I'll probably, I have a few more days to make it, so we'll see. We shall see, but yeah. Anyway, all right, I'll see you guys at home, and we'll put away our groceries. All right, I'm home, time to make a smoothie, spinach, fruit. I've got all sorts of things. Collagen powder finish this one. A sprinkle of agave, spirulina, cacao, <laughs> pumpkin seeds, hemp, goji, and then a little bit of oats. And yeah, just a ton of superfoods. Oh, I got to do my sea moss gel as well. But a lot of these are like fertility boosting superfoods. I'm not a doctor, but that's from my own research. Some frozen fruit. I kind of, I prefer the strawberries and bananas for this routine. And I've kind of learned to just like eyeball this stuff. I used to measure it. I'm not gonna do too many oats. The sea moss gel, you cannot taste at all little heap of her probably about two teaspoons you do two scoops of this collagen this is from vital proteins this has the collagen but it also has protein 18 grams and two scoops so that's kind of like my you know protein powder replacement spirulina well i still measure the spirulina because i'm afraid of doing too much i just do about a half of a teaspoon that's the serving size sure you can do more I really don't know sprinkle of goji berries a sprinkle of pumpkin seeds and this smoothie tastes so good and just some hemp seeds a big sprinkle of those cacao nibs a smaller sprinkle of those and do a big old handful of baby spinach this is my favorite way to sneak in greens because i don't eat enough of them so pack them in there and then lastly you can do milk almond milk you can do water sometimes i'll do half milk half water but i'm trying to drink my, my milk <laughs> there we go oh i forgot the splash of agave i really do enjoy it with a just splash just to sweeten it a sprinkle it's pretty sweet from like the goji berries the banana but i just like a splash of coffee okay okay y'all just brought in the groceries for me so let's do an unboxing <laughs> we get the late july multi-grain lime uh tortilla chips but they were out and they replaced them with this but I didn't have time or I didn't see the message in time to decline that so this is what we have <laughs> for tortilla chips. I got some organic white queso. I like to put a little bit of that when we do like chipotle bowls or like fajitas like any Mexican. I'm like I want a little queso. We got a tomato, bananas, a bunch of oranges. If you didn't know 
Yarman loves oranges. He eats at least one every day. He loves oranges. And some baby crispy green leaves. And then more, ooh, stuck. And then more baby spinach. For smoothies, more bread. Some grated Parmesan. For salads, I got some more croutons. I got a few cans of crushed tomatoes. I always keep crushed tomatoes in the house um, because I recently started making homemade sauce when I do like any sort of marinara. I do that or I use the Rayos, as you know, but the homemade sauce is so easy and it's just crushed tomatoes. So uh, I didn't have any left after the last sauce I made. So I just want to keep some in the house. They only had the small ones, but I usually buy the big ones. We got some organic light balsamic. And what do you want to search for? Oh, nothing. Thank you. And I got some light ranch and light balsamic for dressing. Oh, so I got peeled garlic. You guys know I am a, oh, this only, well, December 17th, I'll go through this. So I always buy the pre-chopped minced garlic. <laughs> and like, I know fresh is just so much better. And I use garlic in so much. So I'm like, okay, if I get the peeled garlic, it's still easier than like smashing a real garlic. Cause like, I, maybe that sounds lazy. I just, it's a lot of work. <laughs> peeling, smashing, all that. So I'm like peeled garlic. That's a nice middle ground. <laughs> you can judge me. I know it's ridiculous. I got some ground beef, orange juice for yar. If I do, is this the right one? This doesn't look right. Oh, it's not, darn. Um, if I make homemade pizza, I buy their ancient, ancient grain pizza dough. It's like got all this amazing, like chewy little grains in it. It's so good. So, um, they gave me a regular dough, not the ancient grain, but the ancient grain dough is so good. Like I love the texture, it's just so yummy. And then lastly, I always get, oh God, Yar's Spindrift. He's a Spindrift guy, I'm a poppy girl. That's our drink of choice as of late. So that's my little Whole Foods haul. I'm gonna take a shower and I wanna film some reels today. I haven't been like on my reel game. I've just been like on my vlog game because I love vlogging. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready and film like a Thanksgiving reel. I wanna do a Thanksgiving giveaway, so that'll be on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, that's that. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here so I can start another one because I'm pretty sure this one's long now. But I love you so much and I'll see you again in a few days. Bye.